after about six months of owning this car, I think it's fair to say that I had a great amount of fun with this car. Uh, so after six months, I wanted to give you guys an update about what I like about this car and what I don't like so much about this car. So let's get started. First, I just want to say that everything about this car has exceeded my expectations. I mean, the power, the comfort, the handling, everything about it, the looks, especially, everything about it is just, uh, blows my mind every day. One thing I'd like to say is that if you are looking to buy a GS350 F Sport or an Audi A6 or a BMW 5 Series, I think definitely the Lexus beats all of those cars. I mean, the styling is like no other on the road. I mean, BMW, all the cars look the same to me. I mean, the 3 Series, the 5 Series, the 7 Series, it just gets a little bit bigger. But, I mean, the Lexus GS uh, 2016 F Sport doesn't look like much other uh, cars on the road. And uh, the Audi A6, uh, not much has changed, honestly, in my opinion. I mean, yes, the styling changed a little bit, and maybe the power got increased a little bit, but I think that the GS definitely beats all those other cars. So now that the car is a lot more broken in than when I first got it, I think we should start it up and rev it a little bit harder than what I did in the first previous video. So let's give that a shot. As far as gas mileage goes, I've been getting about 20 to 21 miles per gallon on this car, which is fairly good for a, a luxury sedan. The interior of this car still just amazes me. I mean, the quality, the build, and everything about this car is just amazing on the interior. Once you get inside, it's just like no other car, honestly. With the digital instrument clusters, the 12-inch screen in the middle, and I mean everything. The buttons feel solid, the leather is very high quality, and everything about it just still amazes me. The looks of this car are absolutely amazing. The curves on the hood and all the lines are just beautiful. They add so much aggression to the car. All over the car you have these lines all along the vehicle. That just give it a little bit more of an abstract look. It makes it pop a little bit more. Of course, you have this spoiler. And as you can see, the line just follows all the way back to the front of the car and blends in towards the front wheel. And of course, you have this intricate little set of lines that are coming through, giving the front bumper some more aggression. And of course, you have this beautiful spindle grille. Some may not like it, but in person I can tell you it looks absolutely amazing and absolutely menacing. Especially when you look in your rear view mirror and you see this coming right, coming towards you at high speeds. So that's about it for this car. If you guys have any questions about it, leave them in the comment section and I'll make sure I answer them as soon as possible. In addition to this car, I have a 2016 BMW 528i xDrive and a 2002 Toyota Land Cruiser. Make sure you leave a comment down below if you want to see videos about those cars because I would love to share with you guys my cars and give you guys some information about them from a driver's perspective. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.